Life, your window on the world, presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Come running into the room, and then they get into the spotlight. But somehow that routine doesn't gel that way. I've got to have the audience with me on the first words. And then it'll go. Let me see, how could I do it? I could run in. Run in. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. No. I could sneak in. Hello, ladies. No. I wonder if they're going to play uh, entrance music for me. Did I set the entrance music cue? Did I set? Did I set the entrance music cue with them, or didn't I? Set, did I set the entrance music cue? Did I set the bow music? Did I set? Did I set the? Gee, I hope the floor isn't too slippery. The last time they waxed it, it was terrible. Reminds me, I've got to wax the bedroom. I wonder how those new draperies are going to be in the bedroom. The bedroom, the bedroom windows don't shut out more noise, huh? Oh, I get back to the routine. I think. Okay. And now, here's the favorite friend of yours. What does he say? Here's a favorite friend of yours? No. Here, no. what does he say? See, the girl goes off. The girls go off dancing like that. And then he says, oh, yeah, I know. He says, here comes a great, no, he doesn't say great. Here comes a friend of yours from Chicago TV, Oliver J. Dragon. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. That wouldn't give enough time. There wouldn't be enough time for the music. There'd be enough time. <coughs> the time could... <coughs> I tell you, a buddy doesn't have a moment's peace in this place to think out any ideas. Coop was out. I thought maybe I could have a little time. Are we? What's an old French coin in three letters? In th and I don't have a clue. Fran, I thought you were working on some letters in your office. Well, I finished the letters. My I crossword know. puzzle. And a thipple flute. Did you ever hear of a thipple flute in eight letters? Thipple flute? No, I never heard of a it's thipple a, flute. Is that horizontal or you know, horizontal? Fran, dear. Thipple flute. Eight letters. And a sergeant fish in five letters. One, two, three. The third letter is O. The last letter is K. Why don't I didn't you know they had officers in there. Get them. Everything's organized these days. Why don't you One, ask two, Fletcher? O. O is the third letter. Fran, I... Because uh, boot is shoe. S-H-O-E. That's the O. And uh, 27. 27. Firmament is sky. S-K-Y. So the O and the K, that I know is right. Fran. I thought once it was sharp, but that isn't it. Fran, honey, I don't mean to. <laughs> I, uh, I just figuring out a little routine. So, I mean, I just, uh, you know, it's kind of hard for me to work this out. I just I have to think it through. So, uh, I'll be glad to help you with a crossword puzzle a little bit later. Oh, okay. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, I hate to hurt her feelings or anything, but you know how. So much better to... Exhausted would be tired, wouldn't it? Yes, Fran. Could be. Now, let me see. Now, where was I? Now, wait a minute. Now, when I, on the very first, in the opening number, I come out and I say, Higher, shoot higher. No, I don't do that either. What do I do? No, it's like the other guy that does that. The guy who dances with a girl with the pretty legs. Gee, all those girls have got pretty legs in that show. 
sensational dancers. They really are. I wonder how in the world she gets her hair to fall back like that so long. A couple of times I was <clears throat> and the music plays and they say, here, now what are they going to play? They're going to play Hello Cutie. Oh, that's good. Hello Cutie. Hello Cutie. Hello. You know, that's, that's the way I'll wear. I'll open. I'll say, they'll say, and now a good old friend of yours, Cutie Dragon. No, not Cutie Dragon. Oliver. Ollie, just one thing. What, what is that sir? S-E-R-F. It's four letters and it begins with E. I've had it a million times. Can't think what it is. Pheasant. Pheasant? I don't know, Fran. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to work out an idea, honey. I'll talk to you a little I'm bit sorry. later. It's almost impossible to try to be alone in this place. I tell you, I thought for a while I'd have a little, but I've got to get this routine. I say, I say, and now Oliver J. Dragon. Hello, cutie. Hello, you lovely. No, I don't think that's good. Hello, cutie. Hello, you lovely cutie. I love you. <laughs> curtain just came down across my mind. <laughs> I don't want to insult him. He's got a job to do up here. He has a perfectly right, perfect right to be up here on the stage. Absolute right to be working here because it's his job to keep the stage clean. And yet why couldn't he do it some other time? No, he has to pick it now. But I'm trying to work out a routine. Well, I'll just try to concentrate anyway. Let's see, now I go out into the thing and it Don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> Let's see now. I, uh... She has the same little mop that Kukul and I used when we did the first television show back in 1939. 1939. Who would have thought back in 1939 that I would be in the star of the Palmer House Review tonight? <laughs> Who would have thought that Dick Barstow... I wonder how Edie Barstow is. Now, she... I guess she's gone out to the coast to the Eddie Cantor show. Hmm. What ha ever happened to some of those television people? Golly, television. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> now, uh, they say, uh, they say, uh, here comes your old friend, Oliver J. Dragon, and uh, he, he... I wonder if Cecil Bill is ever going to get a haircut. Maybe I should have a haircut. I wonder if I should have a haircut tonight. I should have gotten a haircut before I did it tonight. I wonder if I can call him up. I... <coughs> Cecil Bill. Toot, 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 toot. Isn't that spot clean enough? Toot, toot, toot. Toot, 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 toot. Okay. Now let me see. I come in, they say, hello. Cecil Bill. Toot, 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 toot. Kid, couldn't you clean somewhere else right now? I'm trying to work out a little routine. I'm working. I'm working out a little routine tonight. It's kind of difficult. I know you have to clean the stage and everything, but I, it's awful hard for me to think while I'm, you know, while you're up here. I, it, well, I'm very sensitive today. And it just, it bothers me. Thanks, kid. Well, <clears throat> now let's see, where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello, cutie. Hello, you lovely cute. Hello. <laughs> What's he doing up here? Just looking at me like that. Cecil Bill? Toy, 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 toy. I wish he wouldn't stare at me. Toy, 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 toy. <laughs> Hello, cutie. Hello, you. <laughs> Cecil Bill, kid, look. I'm trying to work out a routine for my... Couldn't you... Wouldn't you... Well, don't be defensive. I didn't... <laughs> can I work now? I've upset him and now my conscience bothers me. What did I say? I didn't say a single thing. To, did I say anything to him, Jack? Not Stop staring! <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Well, I'll work on it now. I'll get control of myself. It'll be all right. Now, here we go. The girl comes in, she leaps like that. Two fellas come leaping after her. Spotlight comes on, and I come on. Hello, cutie. Hi, Freddy, I just got... Hi, Ollie. Hi. How are you? Did you get the things? Hi. Yeah, I got... Oh, yes, I got the things, and I got the new life. Good. That's fine, Kukla, that's fine. Why don't you and Fran go in and read life right now? Oh, my God, you thought we all might all read it together. I've already read part of it. Oh, boy, oh, boy, some wonderful stories this week. Oh, I can hardly wait to... Kook, uh, I, um... Would you mind... What's the matter? Nothing, but, uh... Why don't you and Fran... Fran! Yeah? Holly wants us to do something with him. Oh, fine. No, I, I... I was trying to... I... Look, kids, I... What do you want us to do? Well... I'm sick and tired of that crossword puzzle. I don't blame you. Crossword puzzles, I tell you, they can really, really oh, get stuck. Oh, I know word. that word as well as I know anything. It begins with an E, has four letters. Surf. Surf. S-E-R-F. Surf, S-E-R-O. I can't think what it is. Surf. I thought it was E-R-O-S, but that's goddess, God of love or goddess of love, one of the two. I don't know. How about Bennett? No, no, that's right. No, no. <laughs> See what I said? I wasn't listening. Where are you? Uh, Kook, Fran, maybe you could help me. We'll I... do it, whatever it is. Just whatever it is, we'll be glad to you do it. Bet. You can call him on Fran and me, because we're your buddies. We're your pals. Well, don't have her on my head. I wasn't hammering on your head, Ollie. I was being enthusiastic. I'm sorry. Did you feel good? Don't want us to help, I mm -hmm. Come on, Fran, let's go. Okay. Now what I have I done? I couldn't think of an idea if I... My life depended on the whole thing. Why did I have to go and lose my temper at them? It isn't their fault. They don't know I'm working on anything. Fran! Yes? I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to... I've got to explain something Oh, well, that's to you. all right, Ollie. See, Coop, what? Come on. Oh, not if you're going to yell at me. I'm not going to yell at you. What are you doing now? <clears throat> Tonight's a very important night in my life. Oh? It is a very important night. Do you know what's happening? What? Carol Channing is opening here and gentlemen from Fun Tonight, Walk. that's right. Are well, we going? Uh, sure we're going. Great. Well, I can't go because I... Oh, I'm... come on. You can't too go. Oh, come on. This will be great. Sure you can. Yeah, remember, that's, a, that's the one where she does that wonderful song of uh, Bye Bye Baby, you know. Oh, that's a oh, wonderful... Oh, yeah. And real funny, real funny. You know, she wears the hair and blonde and real short. Stuff. Wonderful Funny. makeup. And, then, and, the, and the short the short dresses, you know. The eyes look as big as saucers. Yeah. Kids, could I have your attention for a moment? Sure. Just, just a moment. That's all I'm asking. Just a little time. You're tense. Yes, I am. It's an important night to me. Want your neck rubbed? No. I'm opening... Tonight, Dick Barstow's asked me to do a little bit in the Palmer House Review tonight. The Palmer House show. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's a show. It's a wonderful show. And I just was trying to work out. It's all in the last minute, you know. And I was trying to work out my routine. And, you know, I just cannot get any ideas. Well, we'll help you. Certainly we will. Certainly we'll help. Well, I've we'll been trying help. to work the thing out by myself, but, you know, I sit here and I'm so sensitive to every noise and everything, and I... Well, I, that's I, why it bothered me, and that's why I yelled, and I didn't mean to yell. Well, the three you. of us together, well, why... Sure, we can work out some... Just tell a couple of little funny... Oh, I know. I want to... Did, did you hear about Uncle Docky last night? Well, no, see, I he wasn't going to... He had it. this dream. It was a kind of a nightmare. I guess and he, he'd been watching the wrestling matches, and so he went well, to see, bed, I, and he dreamed that he was wrestling, and he was pinned, and he fell out of bed. <laughs> 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 and he almost died. It was a funny... <laughs> there he was, and he couldn't wake up. He was on the floor. on the floor. <laughs> Maybe something like that you could tell. How about that? that Maybe That isn't the kind of routine I'm going to do. It's a song and dance number. See, I start out, I come out, and uh, uh, I start out in the... Uh, see, I come out and I... Hey, Fran, you know something? What? Why, why, don't we, why don't we give Ollie a funny wig or something like that? That's the very thing, and a couple of funny hats. That'd and be you're in. Well, you suppose I could wear... Say, speaking of wigs and hats, did you see life goes to a party? Well, of course you. I just, my goodness, I just... Well, sure, I know all about it. Did you know about this? Oh, here, it's on the cover here. Mm -hmm. It shows the, 
Yeah. Will you excuse me Jean for Charney a moment? Jean Charney wears a $14 dress to a $50,000 party in Venice. <gasps> Would you Great. excuse me? You're not going to look at life? Uh, yeah. Excuse me, please. Oh, this is a wonderful I issue. Don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Nice. We'll help it. We'll work it out. I'm going to start from the back this time. First of all, this. Oh, Fran, I got such a big kick. Remember this picture was in life? Uh, the, um, oh, yes. The, uh, the one about the, the little boy who got a pair of shoes. Holding his shoes to beautiful New shoes. shoes. He's in Austria. He was a poor little boy in Austria, and he got mm -hmm. a pair of new shoes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, that just reminded me, when I saw that picture, I thought to myself, my goodness, how lucky so many of us are. We should be very grateful. I think we are. Couldn't we do some, couldn't we do some extra shows this year, maybe, for, uh, Oh, some friends of ours somewhere, someone... Like somewhere we used time. to do? Like Maybe we did some to. last year in the schools, you mean? Yes, I I'd love to. I wish we could. Well, we'll just schedule a time and do them. Well, here, I want to tell you about this. This is a ride. It's really this party in Venice. I wish we could have stayed in Venice long enough to be... I don't suppose we've been invited, though. Oh, I bet you would Oh, I don't think so. It tells here about this man who gives a party in Venice. It says he... Something about... Uh, so many invitations, and then, and then people all over Europe... Um, they, they 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 did a black market business, printing extra invitations and selling them so they could, you know, sneak they get in. into the party. Get into the party. They had detectives, and there and, and everybody came. Here's a picture. Everybody came in um in a big uh, in a gondola. Oh, it must have been wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Irene Dunn was there. Oh, was Tertial. she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here, oh, it's a wonderful part. A picture. They're all sitting in front of this wonderful painting, and they all look. They look like the costumes in the painting. Do they really? Oh, and, there, and some, some of, there's some place, here's a picture of a man with his shoes on. He, here he is, he is very tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a fast glance at it so we can read it more carefully together. Well, I thought, because we haven't done a, we haven't done a real party lately. No, we I haven't. thought we might go through some of the past issues of, of life, including, including this one, too, um, and, and, and maybe sort of work out a life close to a party, Cuckoo Bottom party. All right. It sounds like a idea. wonderful idea. I'd love to do it in costumes, but I don't think there's $50,000 in the budget. No, I don't frankly see it either. But then, Jean Terry wore a $14 dress. I guess we could work it out. We could, maybe, we could, we've got lots of costumes in the, in the costume box. That's the fun of going to a costume party to see what you can do with as little as possible. Well, there are other kinds of parties besides costume parties. All we have to do is to get some real fine ideas from mm -hmm. life. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing about Life Magazine, Fran. I, that reminds me, you know, it, well, not just for parties. That's just just a, a part of of Life Magazine. But for for all sorts of things, life is a source of ideas. You know, very mm -hmm. true. And and what I was reading too in the beginning. I mean, there's so many wonderful historical things. And and in life, you you see history as it happens. You really do. All over the world. You do, and it's fun to learn when you learn from life. Yes, it is. I would say. I think that would be a great deal of fun if we'd work out this a little party. Well, let's, let's just put it on the schedule and we'll do that. Very Should we soon. do it? Love to. <laughs> uh, hmm? No, I just think that little show, that show, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, there was a song in there. Oh, oh. My, one of my very favorites. You remember that song? Sure, I remember. I remember the first time you sang it. I'd love to sing it again. I wish. Maybe we better just leave him alone. I'll sing this song to you and then, and we'll just leave him alone. All right. Okay. <laughs> You say you care, and all at once some million roses for their perfume on the air. You say you care, and you put words to what the whippoorwills are singing everywhere. should change into the loveliness we share. If you were there, no hill would be too high. And darling, I would even fly the sea. Beautiful song. Well, shall we leave 
I'll see you a little later. Yeah. Okay. Thank heavens I can be alone again. Got to work this out. I wonder if I should go by script. I could write... No, I, I can't. There's not time to bring script in. Now, if I could just... If I could just... Who brought that up? Who brought the sewing machine up on the stage? Oh, dear, I did. Beulah, don't sew now. I'm not going to. Well, thank heavens. I'm going to oil it up a little bit. Well, squeaking the last time I ran it. Beulah, I, I'm trying to work something up. Well, go right ahead, dear. I, for heaven's sake, it's not going to bother me. Not going to bother her. Oh, not going to bother I was thinking of myself. Really? I say I was thinking of myself. Oh, do you need a little oil, too? Beulah. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm getting ready. I'm going to stitch up some fine costumes. I'm going to have a party. I'm going to have a costume party like they have in Life magazine. They didn't have a costume party in Life magazine. They had a costume party, and Life magazine took pictures and wrote a story about it. What's what I said? No, you didn't, Beulah. Oh, why am I arguing with her at all? This is absolutely ridiculous. I've got to work out an idea. What are you saying? Nothing, Beulah, nothing. I was just mumbling to myself. You better see a doctor. I may have to. Please. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, let's see. I'm going to... Have to get my oil can. <laughs> Oh, is that mosquito bothering you? I bet it is. I think it's just been buzzing around here like mad. There's no mosquitoes in here, Frank. Oh, there's Please. been a mosquito in here all day, Ollie. And if it bothers you, you just tell me and I can just as well fix it. I might just wait, and if he comes in here, I'll get it. Fran. Please. I can hear it. I can hear it in the distance. Fran, dear. It just hums and buzzes, but anything that distracts me, it's a mosquito. Or a fly. Well, those I would chase one fly don't as far me. as from here to Winnetka. They just drive me crazy. Sometimes. Hear him? I can hear him. Can you hear him? Listen. No, I can't hear him, Fran. Maybe it's that lamp again. I don't know. Well, let me know if it bothers you. <laughs> well, I don't know. Mosquito bothers me. Do you have to take a shower now? Well, really, a buddy has the right to take a shower any time of the day he pleases. Ah, let's see now. Now, if I go into the routine, if I go into the routine... Why does he have to take pictures now? Why? 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 Well, let's see. There it is. I can hear it. <laughs> now it's gone now. I'll get it the next time. <clears throat> Two of them, Fran. Oh, dear. Two what? Mosquitoes. You just go ahead and think. I will get them. Come on, Fran. You just go work out your routine. They're confused. Oh, no. Think you got it? Oh, don't be frightened. It's gone now. It's gone, dear. Just relax. <clears throat> Not that much. You'll never think. Ollie, that way. you won't be able to work out your ideas no. that way. Ollie, go. Leave me. I. I. Uh, 
Mm. Oh, I just got a wonderful idea. Beulah Winch offered to, to fly us out to uh, New York. Hi, anywhere, New York, anywhere. Just go. Why don't you all go? Might be a good idea. Life is having their annual outing today, Fran. Oh, are they? Yeah, we can all go. Why don't we do that? We can have meatloaf sandwiches, maybe. Yeah, we can pack our a wonderful time. Do you think we can get out there in time? Sure, sure. we can, Beulah. We can make it. You want to go? You think we can make it? I don't want to go, hmm? Okay. Coop, could you bring me the phone, please? You want me to help you? Please. You know I can't do it by myself. Well, I didn't want to be in your way. You've been in my way all day. You might just as well stay here. Don't break the continuity. Give me the Palmer hose. This is fighting. Hello? Hazel, would you give me the, the Palmer hose, please? Who do you want to talk to? Dick Barstow. Hello, Dick Barstow, please. Hello, Dick? Yeah, just a minute. I want to talk to you. Hello, boy. How's it coming? <coughs> well, Dick, I'm terribly sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think... Well, I don't think... I... No, I'll be there. Hmm? But I have... No, I mean, I won't be able to be in the show, Dick. See, I don't think... I can't work out a route... What do you mean you didn't expect me in the show? Well, you said just the other day. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, well, certainly. Well, I may be there and I may not. <laughs> well, I wish you lots of luck. Imagine the nerve. Friends? What? They're not going to put me in the show after all. You're not going to be in the show? No. Well, that's a fine thing. That's a fine state of affairs. I should say, after the, all the work you put in on your routine. Yeah, I well, After that's... all the help Cooklin and I gave you, too. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, for goodness sake. Well, I'm not going to put up with that a second longer. Well, I wouldn't either. No, sir, I'm not going to applaud very loud tonight. Kids, remember to see what's new. To see what's news. Read life. <laughs> We've spoken to you from time to time about the various features in life which have been both informative and entertaining to us, such as sports, national affairs, world news, and one feature in particular which holds a special interest for Kukla, Ollie, and me is that which has brought us the splendid stories on religion and religious beliefs. And we think that the first step toward a respect for another's belief other than our own is based upon a knowledge of that faith. Now you will recall in the past the splendid article and the beautiful pictures of the ten typical Protestant churches of America. Then there was the story on the Jewish faith. And now this week life has a magnificent piece about the Pope. Life really makes you understand how Pius XII can be a simple parish priest at heart and still be the leader of a great worldwide religion. We're looking forward to this article, and I'm sure that you'll value it too. Well, I've talked so much about this one article that there's no time to tell you about the other dozens and dozens of things in life. But it's just like every week. You'll finish this issue too and say, isn't life wonderful? The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Garmovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Natalie. And this is Bert Tilstrom. Oh, going to the opening? Fine. <laughs> Fran and Ollie has been brought to you by Life, your family's personal window on the world. Be sure to get the new Life at your newsstands.
NBC Television.